Hello friends, welcome back again in Excel Automation Tool. In this tutorial, we are going to show how we can make a advanced searchable user form. If you see, there is a lots of functionality we have already done. So you can see there is a new registration, update, deletion, clear, and also there is the initial searchable options. And also you can see there is a downloadable option. As usual, and you can see there is the first column. And if you want to see all the information at the same time and you can just click there, double click there and all our required field wise data will be shown there. If you miss our previous tutorial like how we are managing this functionality then you can see our previous tutorial and as well please subscribe to our channel. Now we are going to make another advanced function like we are making a advanced search button and just click this. So there you can see there is the fourth criteria is you can search anything like this is the first criteria, this is the second criteria and also the third criteria and the last thing is fourth criteria. So all our combination data will be show the in our list box. So there as you can see this is our criteria like request type, description, request, department, company and reference number. Also when I click this one then there is the second is fourth available now. So only the request type then missing. So you can select anything like department. So when you select the third criteria, then you can see there is only the description of request and company and reference number. You cannot see the again repeatedly department and the request type. And also I am going to select company or another is like reference number. Then you can see the, the fourth criteria is the only two option is available description of request or company. So you can select anyone. Okay. Now I am just search click. So you can see all our search value is empty now. So I am just clicking this. So you can see there is no reflection there. That means I am just selecting as per criteria wise. First I am selecting the request type. Just I am selecting this test. You can see there is we have also the test. Just I am clicking the search. And only the search is option will be shown. Okay, I am just remove this and also click this search and I am selecting this one just request type. So I am just typing as a type. So you can see this is the second criteria and this is the department I am selecting and search value is department. So you can see this is the first criteria, second criteria combination of data will be shown there. And there is also the reference number. Reference number is yes, no, yes, no. So that if you want to ask per yes wise, then just input type as a yes. And now clicking the search. So you can see first, second and third criteria wise data will be shown there. So the last fourth criteria I am selecting as a company. So you can see this is our company and there is also the ABC. So you can just input ABC. That means the first, second, third and fourth criteria. All our criteria and value as data will be shown there. I am just selecting the criteria and inputting the value. And now the final is I am just click the search button. Then that means all our data will be shown there. So now we are going to develop this step by step. And and that is you can see this is our download platform and this practice template I will be upload there and you can download it at any time and also there is and you can see that the lots of automation tool available there so you can download it at any time and day by day it will be updated there so now we are going to develop it step by step and let's go okay so there is you can see this is our support sheet and this is our search criteria like request type description of request department company and reference number so we need to know our as per wise column number like the request type is b column and you can see this is our description is c column as usual uh, department company and reference number should be the e f and also the reference number is m column okay now we know the column number I am going to the view code and this is our advanced search form and there is you can see all our facility like this is our refresh and also exit and also this is our back button so we have already done this like we have already made this back button and this is our exit button we already show our previous tutorial how is it working and this is our user form initialize and when user form will be open then there is the column count and this is our column width so this column width is comes from we have already show 
there so now need to know the our input fields name like this is our first column and then you can search combo box one and this is the search combo box two as usual this is the first search combo box three and this search value is search text box one search text box two you need to remember this name because this reflection is in our code so now we are going to set up drop down list step by step and first of all we need to set up the first column and as usual all our drop down list will be work Now our search criteria comes from our support sheet. So when you click this, then you can see this is our search criteria. So as per first criteria wise, the second criteria will be show. So now we need to set up all our step by step like second criteria, third criteria and the fourth criteria. Okay.
so all of our subscribe set up done so we need to check it just i am opening this so that is first criteria i am just selecting one the second criteria is department and third criteria is company and you can see the last is on layer to available there now need to make dynamic as our search button so we are going to make it dynamic
so now need to check our code again and need to clarify so first of all we are assigning this this is our support sheet and this is the search column number one that the search combo box when the match the support sheet j2 then it should be the search column number two and also this is the search column number c and e and we have mentioned this e f and m so as like we are also mentioned the search column number two which is comes from the search combo box two and this is search combo box three and the last thing is search combo box four wise we are mentioned the column number and there is you can see this is our search form and this is a search combo box one that means there is a for search combo when the value is found then this criteria will be execution and this is the first three combo box when the first three combo box is not empty then this formula will be execution and also when the search combo box one and search combo box two will have a value then this is should be work so sometimes we have only one criteria that that's why we are calling this and if there is no any criteria selection then by default this is will be called now need to mention this is for initial so i am going to copy this code and paste it to our initialize okay now need to test it i am going to open this there and also there is no selection criteria that's why all our value will be show there so i am just checking this one just i am at request type there is only one is test so i am just input the test and click to search okay that means it's working and i again also the refresh and i am i want to as a request type is type and this is criteria second criteria is department there is department is i'm selecting as a department and the third criteria is company so i am just selecting the abc and the fourth criteria as far well, i want to as a reference number wise where the value is yes okay so i am just click the search button that means the fourth criteria combination our data will be show there so we think we can use it in our user form for search any as for multiple criteria wise and that's all i hope you enjoyed this tutorial hope to see you in the next tutorial thank you very much